This is Rainbow. He was abused by teens, spray painted with toxic paint and beaten. He was saved by Safe Haven Egypt. He is now in his forever home and loved by us. Rainbow is a loving character, but there are many more cats just like Rainbow at safehavenegypt.cat. We have started raising funds and we need to raise £150 towards Safe Haven Egypt to protect these cats and give them the medicine and the food they deserve before they get their much loved homes. Go to Just Given on our Facebook page. Excuse me, I've just been out for a wee run, yes. It's Captain Beanie, as you well know. You're live in the Heights Kitchen in downtown Port Albert. And boy, do I want to spill the beans. <laughs> because I'm running on Sunday, the 4th of October 2020, the Virtual London Marathon. Yes, you half big runner bean is going to partake in a 26-mile saunter around... Port Albert. Yes, indeed, it myself and my dear good friend colleague Claire Thomas. Hello, Claire. She's running on behalf of her chosen charity, Victor, and I'm running on behalf of Click Sergeant Young Lives vs. Cancer. So if you'd like care to sponsor me, by all means, follow the link below. But until then, <coughs> I'm going to get some more exercise in now. <coughs> so may the force go behind me and uh, hope I can lend on your support. Bye-bye for now. May the force go behind me. And welcome to Moorish TV. This is Zed and Sapphire, and we've got Rainbow, Tiggy, and Blondie. We've got a full table full of, full of cats today. Oh, this is marvelous, isn't it? Wow! Three cats on a table. This is a cat takeover. It's not fair. Oh, one's left. One's left. <laughs> We're left with two and one dreamy. <laughs> oh, that's left. But yeah, welcome to the show everybody. We've got an exciting show for you today. We've got nine fantastic artists on the show today and Chef John Quill is going to be cooking up something very special for us while he was doing a VIP event tonight as well. So he's a lucky man. He is. <laughs> we, is we are feeding these lovely babies with some dreamies and they're sticking around. There we but, are. Right, um, let's get on, let's the get on with the show. Right, um, we have got a fantastic lineup as we say. We have got none other than the judge, and we're not talking about a judge from a courtroom. Well, I don't think so. Anyway, no, this is a singing one. We're not. But it's this a is a one. yeah, he's a fantastic artist. He, he came to De to to Sapphire, and today, and he is going to give us his arrangement of a comic book style. Absolutely, got a great video there. Yeah, and the uh, the females are back again with Chica Adiosan. Now oh. that is a strange name to say. Yes, but it's Tongue very twister. interesting all the same. Yeah, looking forward to that. And I've got Dixie Day. Dixie Day is in the house as well. Another great female artist. Then we move on into the words of Luke Turok, who is another fantastic singer-songwriter for a young man. Oh, wonderful. And we've got Agnes Jones. Oh, the return of Agnes. Oh, she was I love you, before. Agnes. You're such a great singer. She's definitely back. And, of course, we have got rap this week with the fantastic style of a great USA artist Smokey B is in the house tonight oh that's wonderful oh, you're yeah. in our house tonight Smokey <laughs> B and we've got Petty Cassette I can't read his writing <laughs> it's okay we've got Petty Cassettes yes yes we have I like that Petty Cassettes do you remember when we used to use cassettes oh a long oh, time ago no. well time ago. here's another one that goes with cassettes Screen Gems are here tonight Oh, and then we finish off with Stim. <laughs> and Stim is a great four-letter word for a great rock band, who are going to tell us that Christmas is near, 
So do not fear, because Halloween is before it. Well, I can't wait till Christmas, actually. So, yeah, we thought we'd just pop in a Christmas song yeah. there and just remind you that it can still be fun. Yep, yeah, and they made a cartoon of their own group members, so they're going to be cartoons, they're not going to be real people on this one. Oh. And, of course, they stated that, is this the end of Christmas, thanks to people like Boris Johnson and stuff like that, because they've said they've ruined fireworks now, they've ruined Halloween, they've ruined folks' weddings, they've ruined folks' lives. So why not just hit Christmas in the head because you've dumped New Year? Well, do you know what? It's not going to ruin my Christmas this year, because... We're going to make sure we're going to have a fabby dabby do Christmas this year. And it's what you make of it, folks. Just remember that. That's right. And it's very true. So let's just hope everything gets back to normal for 2021. And all these fantastic artists are on a stage playing the way they should be. Oh, wonderful. So, right. Let's get kicking off. And we're going to start off with our fantastic artists. And the first one is none other than The Judge. Now, The Judge is a singer-songwriter and an artist who has a colourful illustration because his video looks like a comic book, doesn't it? It sort of reminds you of, you know, Aha. Do you remember that? Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, you're right. Take on me. Yeah, something similar. That's what I can say. But a different it. style of music, of course. Mm -hmm. But this is going to be fantastic. And we're going to go right over to The Judge's house and he's going to judge us while we judge his video. But it's fantastic. I've seen it. Let's go over Hello there. G'day Zed, Sapphire, Maurice TV. This is the judge coming to you live from down under. I hope you enjoy the video of Silver Rain and I hope you all stay safe there in the UK and we'll catch up real soon. Living in the world where nothing's fair. Take the odds even though they're there coming to get you. Look around, nowhere to run, you gotta hear the sound Families crying, people screaming, hear the sirens, stop your squealing Don't forget me is all you got to say As they pull up, put you away Like a picture is a story of a thousand words Silence is loud, you should have heard You wanna live a life with no control All the people you meet go through that hole Open your eyes, you should have known You're not out there on your own All around, angels falling, lost that's work, but it ain't crawling Seen a lot of friends go And I'll be there before the sides a world of pain If you knew what I know you see there's so much more Don't end it all Tonight is silver rain Silver rain Behind the door, no one else around The only lights coming through the ground Silence deafening with every pound These walls can tear me, I hear no sound Time stops no one else around I close my eyes Lie on the ground I know inside Just how to hide Put down your guns Before getting your bride Secrets hidden Behind a door without a key In isolation You'll never find me One day I'll find With whom to talk A little peace of mind And so you thought Dreams bring you closer To those behind Through someone's eyes My story's blind Don't end this way Just grab a hold Through someone's eyes I should've thought Seen a lot of friends go And I've been there before On the other side The world Words. Silence is loud, you should have heard You want to live a life with no control All the people you meet fall through that hole Open your eyes, you should have known You're not out there on your own We're all around, angels falling Lost its wings but it ain't crawling Crawl back out from the hole you're in You're sick, you're losing, it's time to win Take this chance, start your life again Hold on to those you call your friends No more violence, no more pain No more hiding from the shame Put your weapons down, play a different game Don't end it all in silver rain Seen a lot of friends go And I'll be there before And welcome back. That was fantastic from the judge, wasn't it? That was really good. And even he's given his claw a good old trim because he thought it needed a trim after listening to the judge. <laughs> but he doesn't need to trim his nails because he went to the parlour for that. He certainly did. Uh, yeah, he did. He went to the parlour, the beauty parlour, and he got his nails done and 
his eyes done and all sorts of different things. Oh, he was a very posh pussycat that day. Yep, he'll be back there again. Now he's got his own PJ <laughs> expert. He still has the old scratch here and then. That's cats for you though, they always do that. But believe it not, he has not got one flea. He hasn't. No, nope. no, nope. no. Nope. Nope. And I don't have any either. I don't even scratch, I don't think. Do you claw? <laughs> Do I claw? <laughs> I have no claws. <laughs> Some people uh, actually, do you sit next to somebody in a bus and would you stay there if they were clawing away to the hell and earth to the head? Oh no, no, I would just like, I think move away somewhere completely different. There yeah. is actually a lady and I think that something is not right there and she walks about with this bird's nest on her hair and if you look closely with the glasses on you see things crawling in and out, the hair particles and she sits on the bus. I remember her. Yep. Mm -hmm. People were hospitalised from that said bus. It kind of reminds you of a bee's hive or something like well, that. Well, some sort of a nest for inhabitants, that's a fact. Well, there's something in there. <laughs> <laughs> I would not like to, you know, imagine imagine if she's got a husband and she strokes her hair. Then all the babies come running out. Oh, Papa. <laughs> Have you ever seen a spider with his babies running away? Yep. You know, like hundreds of them. It's getting near Halloween, oh, and that lady does thought. that lady does not need a costume because it's built in. Oh, and it's really true. She's got hair yep. like that. It's not. It's not wrong. <laughs> to, it is wrong, but it's um, you know. It, it looks like she's never washed her hair in years. It's. You know, like, yeah. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's a wig or something, I don't oh, know. Oh, well, if it's a wig, there's something wrong with that as well. <laughs> she's never washed a wig. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's right. get on. Enough <laughs> of the walking bush, and let's, <laughs> and let's get moving on to our next fantastic artist, who is glad to be on uh, after Bushy. <laughs> right, this, this is a wonderful artist. She's a female singer-songwriter as well, and she could tell you where she's from and all about herself as we go over to her home. But she's a great singer-songwriter as... Safa chose her, and she's got a strange name as well. Chica, or is it Chica Adiosan? Oh. And this is a nice name. So let's listen to the nice track as well, and the music video only on Morris TV. Let's go over. Let's say hello. Hello there. Hi there, Zed and Sapphire and Morris TV. My name is Chica, and I'm a singer. I'm based in the beautiful Auckland, New Zealand. Um, today you'll be checking out my music video, Give It To Them Bad. Give It To Them Bad is a song that's part of my most recent EP project in my head. So that's out on all streaming platforms. You can find me on social media at Chica Music on Instagram, otherwise Chica Adioshun on all other platforms. I hope that you enjoy the music video and if you do enjoy the music video, do check out the rest of my music. Settle. Hey, I can read a queen on any street. I stun the hustle on repeat, and I do it on the back of Afro beats. You know, I give it to them by. 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 Give it to them by. All the girls we bad. So we give it to them by. We give it to them by. Because I only need a quarter from you And I'm sweet like tangerine Tap a trip a trip by the side of your lip You look and look and make sure no one sees Ooh, he's a freak, that's the type that I need Time to work my body, get my mind what it needs Yes, yeah, my baby, and tonight he's gonna eat Hey, I'm bad All the girls we bad So we give it to them bad We give it to them bad 
Son, thank you very much for being on the show. That was wonderful. It was really good, wasn't it? Oh, yes. And that's what we talk about in Moorish TV. When you have artists on it that are really credible artists. And I don't mean to knock a lot of the talent shows because I watched that show with a little mix on Saturday evening mm-hmm. and switched it off after 10, 15 minutes or so. Yeah. Didn't like it. Thought it was rubbish and it was very biased towards the young people. It's like you've seen it before and seen it stuff before, like you that, know, you know. You know, when are they going to bring back a show that's about artists like we put on? Like, what's wrong with them? It was all youngsters, mm. but what's wrong with having older people on shows that have got loads of talent? Yeah, singers and writers. Basically, musicians. this is the kind of show where we put all ages on, as long as you're over 18, of course. That's right, be over 18 and you are quits in on the show. It's just because we have some... Bad language and funny things on. But I think it's only <laughs> fair if you've got older people as well to balance right, yeah, it with young yeah. people. So I think you have all, you know, the feedback we've been getting is that you've it's all immense. enjoyed it. So that's brilliant. Yeah. And oh. of course, well, one cat howls because <laughs> it's getting near Halloween. We want to just say if you want to follow the judge or Chica Addison, remember they've both got their own Facebook pages, YouTube, Twitter. Go to their YouTube, subscribe to them, go to their social media. Follow them and buy their music on all the uh, music download sites. Isn't that right, Rainbow? That's that tight. is right, isn't it? And because make sure you support them. They've got to get fans and yeah. people who are going to enjoy their music and all their new songs that they're writing in the future that's as well and follow these people. That's very true. You've got to support each other. And of course, the next lady up is uh, the same with this as well. Oh, this is Dixie Day. And we're having a day where we're going to listen to Dixie sing a song. But Dixie is a singer-songwriter from way beyond, and I mean way beyond where we live, that is. I don't mean she's way beyond the ages of us. No, and, uh, do you mean um, she's far away from us, obviously, yeah, yeah. you know, somewhere? And she's got some head of hair, but at least she washes her hair, unlike the lady goes around. <laughs> it's got beautiful hair. Yes. Some head of hair that is going to fill out our very own screens right now as she talks to us. Oh, hello there. Hey everyone, hi. Hey Zed and Sapphire and everyone at Moorish TV. Uh, I hope you're all having a good one. It's Dixie Day here. Um, I hope you'll all please enjoy my song, Never Too Late, coming up next. Um, big shout out to Jam Brothers, my On Point family, and Tash Couture and Dunlap in Atlanta who produced and co-wrote the song with me. Nice one, guys. Love you loads. Bye.
wonderful. Thank you very much, Dixie, for that. That was great. That was just lovely. I enjoyed that. Uh, of course, people. Rainbow and Tiggy <laughs> really enjoyed it, that they want more dreamies. Yes, the dream is. That's a little bit of exposure for dreamies there. But yeah, if you are interested in following Dixie, uh, get her on the social media platforms that she is on. Uh, Google her, search her, get her up on the old YouTube and subscribe to her channel and buy her music because her music is way beyond and it is fantastic and tells stories like everybody else that's beyond well, her that's, as well. That's great about um, writing a song is it's got a story and yep. you know it's all picked up in the lyrics and everything yes, yeah, so yeah. that's brilliant, keep up guys. Fantastic um, and of course we've got some more artists coming up on the show as well. We have still got uh, five artists, I think, five, no, no, six artists still to run through. Of course, John Quill's on the show today. John is going to be cooking up something special for us today as he is uh, doing a VIP event and cooking up some of these dishes he's given to them to give to us. And it's a dish that you actually really love. Yeah, that sounds oh, good. Oh, yes. Sounds good. Do you know what it is? Okay. I do. Right, okay. Um, and yes, of course, we've got the fun video, which is up after the next artist, and it's more and more crazy dancers as well. Oh, it's getting crazier uh, by the yeah, week, yeah. I'm telling but you. But these ones say we can go one better than the ones last week. The ones last week were brilliant. Uh -huh. So what's it going to be like this week? We'll find out. And remember, at the end of the show, there's something funny to see as well. There always is. <laughs> Uh, that's after the credits, so remember watch the credits first. Oh cause... yes, yes. Just don't let the credits roll and then you switch off yeah. because there's You're always something that. at the end of the show. But right now, um, this young man, uh, we got in touch. Uh, he got in touch with us, sorry, and applied to to be on the show on Morish TV because he says he wants to give what that little bit more. And he did. And his name is Luke Turek. And Luke Turek is a young man from over in Australia as well, and. Uh, New South Wales, I think it is, sure. I can't remember, he'll tell us. We've got but a lot of Australians, don't we? We certainly do, yeah. Um, and, of course, this young man is a singer-songwriter and he keeps he keeps um, writing new songs. Mm -hmm. And he says, because of this sort of thing that we've been all going through, he, he tended to write songs while he was in lockdown. And the more songs he was writing, the more accomplished the young man was getting. That's what happens. You, you get better and better as you go you along. You do, because you know? there's nothing else doing. Well, you know? that's great because you've got time to write songs as as long as you want to take on them, I suppose, yeah. That's right. So so I think we should shoot over to Luke's uh, video as he's waiting on standby right now. Hello there, Luke. Hey, Zed, Sapphire and Morris TV. My name is Luke Turak. I'm 19 years old and I'm from Sydney, Australia. I just want to say I am so thrilled to be here. And the song you're about to hear is called Always Dreaming. You can follow me on my social medias, Facebook, Instagram, at Luke Turak Music. I hope you enjoy. Ever since I was a little boy, I just wanted to be great. I just wanted to be charge of my life and everything is saved to be king of the world and get the trophy of dreams to hold let me tell you something a secret you may just need you can make something out of nothing believe in yourself Every little bit And I'll be always dreaming Dreaming for so long Think it's time to start living So I'm living it through this song Wanna make dreams a reality Wanna quench my curiosity So I'm living a The perfect life to make Makes me feel So happy and proud I could scream and shout Scream and shout I see rainbows out there There's a good time in the air Make dreams a reality Wanna quench 
know the journey you shall learn. Oh, it's not as a scene. That was great. Um, it's nice to go out and see the the seaside and all the you know the nature out there while you're filming a music video as well, especially if it's a song that means something and it goes with the music video. I always love um, watching people's videos because they're so interesting, you know, uh, especially Australia. They've got some beautiful, oh, yeah, beautiful yeah. Um, landscapes. I've never there. yet seen an Australian singing with a kangaroo by his side. I'd like to see that. <laughs> that would be happen. interesting. Would yeah, it would be. Happen. What are you looking me for? I'm not this guy. Right, um, uh, yeah, but uh, Luke has got a lot more going on on his YouTube channel. I mean, a lot more going on. It's Luke Turret Music. And, of course, look up for his fantastic music videos and his great songwriting skills. Because this young man is an expert at the pen writing. And he will go places if he carries on. And he will carry on. Absolutely. A lot of people actually sit at home and they, they would rather, if they were locked down, they were eating food after food because they, ra they never rationed. They rationed everybody else, but they were all doing a panic buying thing, and some of them started doing it again, which was silly because uh, there was no real lockdown. That. Mm. The pubs shutted at 10 p.m., the shops shutted at 10 p.m. Well, that's not a lockdown. Why are you going out and taking more butt roll? I know, it's silly, isn't it? Jesus <laughs> God, but there we are. But right now, let's go over to our fun video. We have a fun video every week, and this, this is the one where we get the dancers on. And um, the reason these dancers are on today is because they could outshine the other dancers, I said, with the craziness of styles you've never seen before. Now, the ones last week, they were good, but they're saying the ones this week are comical genius. Well, I like a bit of comical <laughs> dancing. <laughs> very, I wonder if they'll fall. But let, let, let's find out what's Ooh. going on. Way, we're getting a bit of thing going on here. Yeah, play with that. WWC, World <laughs> Wrestling Cats. <laughs> right, let's go over and uh, le let's link in with our videos and see what's going on with the dancers. Let's have a laugh. Let's go. Everybody just jump it up. Just, just, uh, chicka, chicka, just pop it up. You with it, this is our yard, you gotta feel with it. Ozone music is all the rage, rocking in a mic to kick the stage. Eight to eight, it's all non stop. The thing you gotta do is bop till you drop. Oh, 
dancing. That was crazy dancing, some of that. Some of it was good and some of it was just crazy. Who dances like that? Mm, I don't know. You know. Have you ever danced like that? Mm, probably when I've had a few <laughs> drinks. I don't remember doing it though. Oh. But I, remember well, I can't re- remember you doing that anyway. I remember so break <laughs> dancing in your house and then smashing the coffee table. Oh, I do remember that. <laughs> I think that's all I've done that's been wrong with dancing. When your legs were like windmills and yeah. they were spinning on your head. And I remember, I remember you on a dance show, we were done a dance routine and got to dance, a famous show where Ashley Banjo was a judge and they asked us to come on and do a dance for them and... <laughs> And we done the routine, and I was still doing the robot. Then I could, I, I'm, I'm moving like a robot. I couldn't spin my head because I'm a robot. And when I looked round as a robot, I went, "Where the hell did she go?" Uh, just and then all I seen was this camera zooming past my head, and I seen her <laughs> floating about like some ballerina <laughs> all around the whole stage. You can see that on, on the YouTube. The stage was mine. That yeah, day. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's something else. That, but that was that was her dance there. But yeah, uh, that dancer was just crazy, but fun, fantastic. And remember, if you want to see something funny at the end of the, the show, as we said, after the credits... Stay tuned. Yeah, Oliver Twist will let you know he wants more. And if he does, you'll get more. He's always greedy at the <laughs> end. I want more. And talking about greedy and wanting more, we're wanting more food from John Quill. John Quill's up after their next Atlas, and John Quill does cook up his dawn. He's, he he's doing a lot. He's got a nutrition company up and running now. And he's, he's doing so well. He's working alongside footballers and rugby people and everything now. Oh, my goodness. He's so busy now. It's the wrong sort of nutrition for us, probably, because it'll be for sort of building them up, I think, if they're rugby players and Protein and things like that. Yeah, yeah. Whereas if it was a diet company and John was in charge, we'd be laughing. <laughs> <laughs> we would be we'd, we'd, we'd all be laughing. John Quill's... Um, Shredding spells. No, it doesn't sound right, does it? No. <laughs> <laughs> right, folks, let's let's move on to Agnes Jones. And Agnes Jones came on our show, I think it was in the early start of the shows. It was maybe about April or May, something Yeah, like yeah, that at the start. And uh, she's a fantastic artist and a singer songwriter. And she always puts her logo at the start with this great intro sound, which oh, is fantastic. That's so, really good. With her own name. <laughs> Why not promote yourself? Because that's what the show's all about. <laughs> but let's go over to Agnes Jones, she's at home right now, ready to speak to us on this week's Moorish TV. Hello there. Hello Zed. Hello Sunfire. Hello Moorish TV. Thank you so much for having me again on your show and airing my video called Taken. This song is very special to me. It's dedicated to my father who passed away. This song is about giving a promise to my dad that I will never give up on my dreams. So I enjoy watching my video. So my name is Agnes Jones. I'm a singer-songwriter from Surrey. Uh, you can find out more information about me and my songs on my website, agnesjonesofficial.com. I'm currently working on my album release, which will be released in October. So watch out. And thank you again. A lot of love.
and thank you very much Agnes. Another great track uh, to add to her list, another great music video as well. Oh absolutely, as I say, a very professional lady indeed. Yep, yep, and she's been going for a, quite a while now and she's continuing to progress in the music industry. Um, we've had many people in the year who have we've had a brush with stardom and people who are getting up to that level of stardom and that's one of them. Mm. I would say so, and the second time that she's been on the show, yeah, isn't that brilliant? That's right, yeah. So fantastic stuff. Thank you very much, to Agnes. And if, thank if you, you for that. Of course, anybody wants to get to her YouTube, subscribe there, uh, buy her music on Spotify and all that. Say iTunes. Very very I mean. catchy tunes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And remember, she's on social media as well. Uh, you know how to do it, folks. You've got hands. You've got eyes. You've got mouths as well. I think. Because if you've not, you're not... Word of mouth, you know, like... Word of basi mouth. Basically, you could, like, say, oh, by the way, check this lady out, you know. Yeah, yeah, because... songs you're, are brilliant. You're right, it's word of mouth. And that's how Moorish TV was word of mouth, and it spread all over the place and hit the And now it's crew. It's yeah. crew. It's got legs now. It's got legs. <laughs> imagine that. Imagine seeing a telly walking up the road shouting, Moorish <laughs> TV, Moorish TV. <laughs> Read all about it. Read see all it. Read about it. Um, yeah, um, if you guys um, know... Of these artists here, remember and follow them all. And if you've missed some of them on any of the episodes of the show, go back watch the shows because I don't know how many artists we've had on the show, but it must be a oh, lot. Oh, loads this time. Well, I mean, uh, we're talking about oh. three hundred, perhaps. Really? Mm -hmm. Touching oh, three hundred. Right. That, 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 that's been doing this for six months, and just a little bit over. Now. Yeah, because we've only we've only had returning artists a few times, haven't we? We have. Oh, you're in there. I don't know Only why. just just a few of them, though. Yeah, yeah. I think it's three or four. And everybody's all brand new after that. <laughs> everybody's brand new. We just bought them out of shops. <laughs> they were all toys in a box. <laughs> we were toys in a box once. Yeah, we were. We're all been toys in a box. In fact, we've been things in a belly you know, as well. What's that? Babies. Oh, yeah. Things in a box. What am I saying? We things. have got dolls made of us. So. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, we have. Yeah, they're hanging on a wall somewhere. They're inside uh, the box. They're inside the box. On the wall and yep. d displayed. That's what that song was about. I'm living in a box. I'm living in a cardboard box. Remember so that? It ours isn't cardboard, it's a wooden box. <laughs> <laughs> it's more expensive. Uh, uh, yes, with a, 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 um, a bit of glass at the front and that to keep it all nice and good. Oh, oh. That's right, yep. So remember, and if you want to get a doll made of yourself, make sure it's one that doesn't talk. Because if it does, it's flipping creepy. <laughs> oh, Especially if Halloween's it's coming up soon. Yeah, anyway. yeah. We've got Chucky dolls, and we should have put them on the table to scare everybody, but they don't do anything. We'll anymore. do it near at the time. The uh, Chucky films, of course, are back out again. There's another one being made again. Mm, there's always the, a few. Of remember, them they made a remake. Them. Now they're doing the one with Tiffany again, his wife. All oh, right. His bride, the bride. We've got a. Uh, a uh, little tiny Tiffany, haven't we, and yep. Chucky and things like and that. And Chucky's son as well, pardon the French, he's called we have, Shitface. We've got, we've got them all <laughs> in a wee box. Is there, is there four of them, four different ones? Uh, you mean in the one box? Yes. I th no, I think there's three of them in there. Is, is there three? Yeah, it's just right. got some of their little tools that they use to carve up people. Oh. Yeah. But that's a collector's item. Chucky, Tiffany and Shitface. <laughs> Are you allowed to say that? I don't know. <laughs> But I'll bleep it if I have. <laughs> but but imagine calling your child this. Oh, what did you name your boy? Shitface. <laughs> imagine saying that. Oh no. That's just like calling Jimmy Jimmy in his middle name. His name is Jimmy Jimmy the Jobby Johnson. Oh no. Imagine calling your boy Jobby. I bet there's people out there that has funny sort of um, middle names and stuff oh, like that. Oh god. I wonder what Boris's middle name is. Boris. Boris. What do you think it is? Bobba Job Johnson, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Bobba Job. Or, or doesn't know how to tell anybody, right, Johnson, I should say. Oh, yeah. Of course, talking about Boris Johnson and all that side of things, this is something I'm very excited about. They're going to take the mick out of them, spitting images back. Oh, I <laughs> It's on on Sunday. It's <laughs> only on Britbox, seemingly. But, um, yeah, we'll be we'll be get a hold of that and we'll be watching that. Yeah, I want to have a laugh and see what the mick are taking out. Piers Morgan's getting in the neck as well. Oh, I like Piers Morgan. Yeah. I wonder if they'll do one for Morish TV. I don't think they'll <laughs> I don't think so. No, it'd be nice if they did, though, but it'd be an unusual It would be good. <laughs> I'd be gunning for them if they made me look like Piers' face would do. What would you do? He had no lips, did he? Mm -hmm. really? He looked like a little chicken or something. He looked know. like he'd sucked a sour plume. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> it was all in there, <laughs> <laughs> And he had no eyes. 
It was right. It doesn't look like me, but it does a bit. So but anyway, who's up next? Um, up next, we've got our fantastic chef John Quill, who's got his wonderful ten-minute menu. It's the first time he's done a ten-minute menu from his VIP kitchen, oh. where he's cooking up for the the VIPs and the stars. Um, what he's doing, I don't know. He's under wraps, but he's going to tell us a bit about it as he starts cooking and more. You know, what if David Beckham were in the kitchen? <laughs> That'd be funny, wouldn't it? But yeah, let's go over to John and see what he's got because you told me he's doing um, a chili, a beef, beef chili, chili con, con carne. Oh, I love a chili con carne. A chili. Well, I he does. Something. He does actually. I was going to call it a chinny con carne. <laughs> That's only with greased up chins. I friends. made you with a. I made one uh, vegetarian cordon as well. Yep. And you liked that as well. Yep. And then we had fried ox cheeks. Ooh. Oh no! <laughs> Not. Ox cheeks. Oh. Boop. Let's see what John's rustled up. Yeah, John's rustled up something nice. Let's go over to John right now. Hello there. <laughs> Hi, and Sapphire, how are you both doing? I hope you've had an amazing week. I tell you what, I have been absolutely flat out. What an amazing week for me, and some very, very uh, so good news. Obviously, you've seen out on social media, uh, we've just launched a brand new business here in South Wales called Ahead of the Game Nutrition. Um, it's absolutely massive, it's really taken off. We've only been um, operating since Thursday, uh, but it's been absolutely crazy the last three days. So yeah, really, really excited to be involved in that project. So it has been crazy, crazy time. But I have always got time for my 10-minute menu on Moorish TV, okay? Because all, all it is is 10 minutes, so absolutely no problem at all, guys. Right, today we are going to be making JQ's Beef Chili Con Carne, okay? So, as you may expect, we're going to need some minced beef. I've got 500 grams of minced beef here. Uh, and again... As with all my recipes, they this recipe is to feed two people, okay? So got five or, or one very hungry person, of course. So 500 grams of minced beef. I need some tomato puree, a 400 gram tin of chopped tomatoes. We need a 400 gram tin of red kidney beans. We need some Cajun spice. We need some ground cumin. We need two garlic cloves or a teaspoonful of garlic chopped. I've got a half well, equivalent to half pepper, I've got a quarter red and a quarter green, just to have a little bit of colour in there. And I've got a quarter of an onion, which has been diced. Right, guys, I'm going to get my wok on. Captain Beanie, I'm back with the wok. So the wok's going on there. I'm not going to put any oil into my pan. Again, you don't need to use a wok. You know, everybody knows I prefer to use my wok because it generates a heat really quickly for me. And obviously for a 10-minute menu, that's what I want to do. So, um... My wok's on, you can use a saucepan, you can use a large fry pan, whatever you whatever you decide to use, okay? But for the purposes of this, I have got my wok on. So, I'm going to grab my minced beef, I'm going to put it in there, and I'm going to wait for it to start sizzling. There we go. Put that there. I'm going to wash my hands as I just touch the minced beef. Right, there we go. Right, start breaking this up a little bit. Right, so this beef chili, this recipe, you can serve it on anything you want. I'm not going to tell you what to serve it on. Obviously, you can go with the classic rice. Um, if you're in Wales, you can go half and half. You can have half rice, half chips. Um, I'll tell you what, spicy wedges. You can even make dirty nachos. You know, I like dirty fries, dirty nachos, all those kind of things. You can put it on a jacket potato. Anything you like, anything you like, you know. But again, you can take the chili heat up as much as you want to. Uh, you know, you can add extra... Uh, fresh chili you can add um, chili powder chili flakes uh, but for the purposes of this I'm just going to go with my cumin and my Cajun spice okay guys right here that sizzle coming on I'm going to bring you over here you notice I'm not in my my usual JQ top today because literally it's just been so busy for me I've literally just stopped to make this the Moorish TV, it is a great dish. Again, you know, nice, warm, hearty dish, ready for the autumn, the chill that's coming in. It's got a bit chilly, hasn't it? I've actually had to put the heating on for the first time, um, obviously, well, since, obviously, uh, spring, um, because it has been a bit chilly. 
My daughter's been cold in the morning when she gets up for school. I don't know what it's been like for you guys. Again, if there's any recipes you'd like to see featured on uh, Moorish TV on my 10 minute menu, please get in touch. Go over to the Facebook page, the Moorish TV Facebook page, uh, and write some comments. Um, no matter how simple it is or how hard it is, if it's a, it's a current recipe that you want to do better, if it's something that you've you get from a takeaway. That's something that I do a lot of. A lot of people, especially during lockdown, where their takeaways and their um, Chinese and their Indian and their Mexicans have been shut, and they've just wanted to know how to make crispy beef or you know chow mein or what have you. Anything you like, let us know, and we'll get it on the show. Okay, guys. There we go. I know a lot of people are tending at the moment. Um, I'm getting a lot of calls from clients. Um, a lot of footballers and celebrities that aren't quite, you know, they're not quite um, happy about going out at the moment. They're a little bit weary, so um, they get me to come around and, and, and they eat at home instead. So if I can help you in any way with that. Again, we're going into autumn and winter. If you want any tips or hints for Halloween, um, if you, um, oh, don't mean makeup, don't do makeup. Food wise, I'm talking about. I'll make a lovely, lovely pumpkin soup, pumpkin pie. Mm, not everybody's cup of tea. Cup of tea? If I could do a cup of tea. There we go. Just getting that all blended in there and get it all nice and browned off. And again, I haven't put any oil in there at all. I've got 12% beef mince in there. So there's only 8% fat. There we are. Right. There we go. So that's browning off nicely. I'm just going to drain that a little, little bit. There's not much in there. Not much in there at all. I'm just going to drain that off a little bit. Because I want it. There we go. Just a little bit of oil in there, I want to get that out. Bring that back on to your hob. Right, I'm going to go in with my onions. So my onions are going in there now. That's my quarter of an onion that's diced up. I've got equivalent to half a pepper. I've got quarter red, quarter green. They're going in. I've got my garlic. That's gone in. Uh, two cloves or one teaspoon. Give that a good stir. Get that in there. There we go. Hear that sizzle? That's what we want. We want that sizzle. Right. Gonna go in with some flavour now, guys. I'm gonna go in with two dessert spoonfuls of Cajun spice. Little tap. In with the rest. There we go. I'm gonna go in with a teaspoonful. Of cumin, there we go. If you wanted to add extra chili, whack it in now, okay, guys. In fact, I am feeling very hot and spicy today. You know, I like my spice, so I am gonna put some crushed chilies in there. There we go. That's going in there, wow. The smells are amazing. Gonna go in with my red kidney beans. One tin, 400 grams, straight in. Go oh, all that steam. I'm gonna bring you over now so you can see. Just exact. That's the chili. Coming together nicely, guys. Okay. That's coming together beautifully now. There we are. Right, next. A dessert spoonful of tomato puree. There we go, one dessert spoonful. Again, people ask me why I use dessert spoonfuls and teaspoonfuls. It's because not everybody has, well, not everybody has. I can't speak, it's been that long a week, I'll tell you what. Not everybody has 
um, tablespoons in their house. But everybody has dessert spoonfuls. Dessert spoonfuls. There we are. Right, that's all blending in. Oh, the smells are driving me crazy. There we go. Now, if you were making tacos, that's it. This is it. Taco filling, amazing. You don't want it too wet. But I don't want it dry because I'm making chili con carne. So, 400 grams of chopped tomatoes, in we go. There we go, enough of that. You can tell it's been a long week. Okay guys, now that, oh, that's it, it's coming together. It's looking like a chili. There we are. One ingredient I did forget to mention was, there we are. So you can tell this is live, is, when you can get it out. That's how busy I've been. <laughs> Sorry guys. One uh, ingredient I did forget to mention was, um, uh, a beef stock cube. Hasn't got to be OXO, can be shop own brand, can be a stock pot, but we're not adding water to it because we've got enough liquid in there from the uh, from the tomatoes, okay guys? There we go, just washing the old handy panties again. Right, so, in there we have 500 grams of minced beef. I've used 12% minced beef. Then, no oil in there, no oil in there at all, okay? Keeping it healthy. So that's all in there. Then we've got a quarter of a red and a quarter of a green, or you can just go with half a pepper. That's in there as well. We've got a quarter of an onion diced. We've got two cloves of garlic chopped, or one teaspoonful equivalent of, unless you've got a massive garlic bulb and then it won't count, but you get the drift, okay guys? We've got two dessert spoonfuls of ground Cajun spice, we've got one teaspoonful of cumin. If you want to add chilli, add it in there. I've whacked in about, about a teaspoon and a half of dried chilli flakes in there as well. You can put dried chilli, fresh chilli, chilli powder, We've got 400 grams of red kidney beans, that's gone in there. We've got 400 grams of chopped tomato, that's gone in there. One dessert spoon of tomato puree. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Look at this steam. Are you there? Are you there? And one beef stock cube, OXO, own brand, stock pot, one in there. No added water, okay guys? Right, I'm going to put that fork here. And we go. That's the chili, guys. I'll take it off the heat so you can see. Amongst the steam. That is your chili. So, I'm going to let that simmer for a little bit and let all those flavours come together. Okay? I'm going to bring you back over here. Because I am hot, hot, hot. It's been a long week. Right, guys. Like I said, I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to take that heat down. I'm not going to tell you what to serve this with, but some ideas for serving suggestions are rice, air for now, if you will. You can go rice and chips, rice and wedges, wedges, spicy wedges, jacket potato. You can use that minus the chopped tomatoes to fill your tacos with. You can make dirty nachos, dirty fries. That's where you layer your nachos, layer your fries with a layer of chili and cheese then a layer of the nachos or the fries, then a layer of chili and cheese, etc, etc. Bang it in the oven, 10 to 15 minutes, bosh, there you go. Okay, guys, I hope you're having an amazing week. Please get yourselves over to the Moorish TV Facebook page with some ideas of what you'd like to see on Chef John Quill's 10-minute menu. Um, I want you to inspire me. So get yourself over there. Give me some uh, ideas as to what you'd like to see on the show. Like I said, we're changing seasons now. We're going into autumn and winter. So if you want to see some homely, home-cooked stuff that we can smash out in 10 minutes, please let me know. You can get hold of Zed and Sapphire on their Facebook and Instagram. You can get me on Chef underscore John underscore Quill on my Instagram page or hit me up on Facebook too. Guys, have an amazing week. Look out for Ahead of the Game Nutrition because we are massive and I look forward to seeing you all next week. Take care, guys.
Now there you go. What a I'm starving now. The great thing is, ten minutes to make it. Ten and minutes. Yes, you're right. You know, like we're seeing it, you know, on yeah. film, but really we're hungry when we're looking at yeah. it. It's looking really good. And for all those who who can stream this show up onto their their smart TVs or they've got it built in their smart TVs, you're now watching Smelly Vision. They call it. Oh. Because you can you feel like you can smell the food. Oh, I yeah. love it wafting towards me. I wonder oh. how many people are watching the show that, that are of age and having a glass of wine or, or already had a, a couple of drinks in the afternoon and they're sitting down, they're having a few drinks and they're getting hungry and then now, I they're, bet pick, they are. now they're picking up the phone and saying, I'm wanting an order. <laughs> yeah, I bet you many of them yeah, will yeah. do that. Just Eat are making a lot of money because they're watching Morris TV right now. Oh. But yeah, um, you, you're, you're, you're cooking up something special for us tonight as well. You, I am. Got and it's got to be stuff. on Scores. Scores. Oh. Mm, wooden Scores. <laughs> be me, it's on the well, Scores. Well, I'll give you a clue. It'll be chicken anyway. Yeah, that. Chicken, yeah. oh, that, that's, that, that's that. I'll never get a taste of the cats. will be on me for it. <laughs> they always are. Yeah. Anything I eat, the cats come to me and she sits and indulges in all her food and... Says, well, he started to uh, hear have a nibble here, here's a nibble here, and there, <laughs> and I says, that's got to become a habit, by the way, yeah. they'll come over to you, and oh, what no. happened? Three of them at you. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. Well, thanks, John. That, that looked absolutely fantastic. Thank you, John. I bet your VIP guests enjoyed not just this, but all the food that, that you are putting out. Oh, and he's can... very professional in Oh, aye. Quality. And John's a friend of ours as well. Mm -hmm. He's from down in Cardiff. Um, there's lots of things happening around that way, but John's safe at the moment, so that's, that's, that's good, good to, to know. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, keep carrying on, John, and we'll speak to you again very, very soon. Well, we'll speak to him after the show with message each Thank other. you, John. Thank you. Give that a little bit more. He always does. <laughs> You'll give that a little bit more if he feeds me, because <laughs> the cats will be wanting the rest. Oh. But yeah, fantastic stuff, John. Thank you very much. That's 10 Minute Menu from Chef John Quill, and remember, follow Chef John Quill. He's on all the social medias and you can see what he does and does dishes on the social media as well. Excuse it for you. I can't even say that <laughs> Exclusively right. Exclusively for Exclusively. you. Exclusively. I said exclusively. <laughs> right, anyway. Um, yeah, now, um, while we're talking about the bands and stuff, we've got an next artist coming up in a minute. It's Smokey B's from the United States of America and he's feeling the wrath of the same stuff that they're doing. They've called to Donald Trump to say, come on, start open up the venues as soon as you can um, and lift the, the rules a bit because, um, and sort things out because the live performance need to get in. They're, it's hard to make a lot of money in the music industry today as it is. You can't move forward, can you, if everything's shut the down? The British so. government are blanking mm -hmm. the musicians and the theatre art artists that sing and etc. and perform. They're blanking them and it's oh. not nice because they're talking about everything else except for them. I know, they're like last in line, yeah. that's what you're saying. They're looking at the musicians like we're all buskers, and that's not, that, that is not the truth in any way forward. And the thing is that I've seen a lot of people busking, yeah. you know, trying to probably make some money yeah, and things, yeah. because it's, it must be awful not getting out there and doing your stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's good for them to busk, but I know what yeah. you mean. Sometimes you'll see a busker and then you'll see them in a, a venue and they're performing with a band. And, and it's not they want, it. it's not that they want to uh, busk or anything, yeah. you know, like because they do, but they want to also be in these venues. It's most yeah, important yeah. that they do. Well, they'll get more money as well. Well, before that, that that doesn't come into fruition for the venues that will eventually close because the smaller venues will be hit hard and they'll never open again. And you'll see. That's a shame. That do you remember that legendary venue? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Such as Abbey Road, where the Beatles performed, places like that. Uh, you know? I think they'll be fine though. Ah, I think because so. Because they're very I famous. I think so. I think so. But listen, get your finger out and start moving and get these artists back on stage where they belong to perform. Absolutely. And they're supported on Moorish TV. We give more, they give more. Why don't you give something back? There, that's me telling you that's already. That's who told them. And that's Boris Johnson told <laughs> I wonder if Boris Johnson will come on the show if I say we like Piers Morgan or not. <laughs> but listen, here's this guy, Smokey B. Now, Smokey B's a rapper, he got in touch with you. He did? Uh, of and course, he's he a great in. rapper. Actually. That's his rap name. He's got another name, but I'll not tell yet because rap And his like song is 3 a.m. Yeah, 3 3.30 3 a.m. 3.30 a.m., yeah. Yeah, there's, there's a story behind that. I think he keeps waking up at 3.30 a.m. <laughs> I think you do that because that cat keeps nibbling. I and do, actually. <laughs> little, little Rainbow keeps waking and is up. Um, it does. And I'll, I'll waking up to this. And it, it's you doing it. And you're trying to click tell, him over tell to Tell him to go over to his side of the bed. Yeah, yeah, That's because he comes over and, and he, he means it. 
He sniffs her head and then he sneezes on her. He does, actually. I think he's clearing his throat. That's what's And then he nibbles on me. There. He used to nibble my chin. I got it on the nose this morning. I thought, can I say Oh, your nose that? looks fine. It looks fine at the moment. But yeah, Smokey, anyway. Smokey B's a hip-hop artist and a great rapper from over in, I think it's Wisconsin, but he's going to tell us where exactly. And uh, it's good to have an American rap artist on the show. There are a lot of British ones on recently. But this guy says that he's got lyrical content mm -hmm. that is going to spill out into the world of music and oblivion. Well, uh, because he wants to tell us how it is well, from his point of view. Let's go over and see him first. Hello there. What's going on, Zed and Sapphire over at Morris TV? My name is Smokey B out of Kenosha, Wisconsin. You can follow me at Facebook, facebook.com slash SmokeyB16 or on Twitter at SB underscore 16 spelt out. And this is my new video, 3.30 a.m., available on all platforms everywhere. Shout out to you guys for having me on here. Much love. Feel the same. I wanted to grow and I needed to know that you're ready to go, but you never would change. And that's just a shame. Gave it my best, but I think it's time that we put this to rest. Cause you will not hurt me again. I found purpose again and I'm holding it till my last breath. I need to heal. I need to heal. I need some space. I need some space. I gotta go out and get it so I don't regret it. I know that I got what it takes. You gave me the proof. That's all I needed. I gave you the love, but you never received it. So please understand why I'm feeling so heated. I gave you my all and you left me to Defeated and I didn't need it. Fuck what you feeling. Guess I'm out here and I'm back on my own. I have been searching to find just some peace on my mind and a comfortable place to call home. But I'm not alone. See, I got myself, and that's all I need when I'm talking about wealth. So I won't be crying, cause there's no denying. I'm probably better out here by myself. So this is goodbye. Wish you the best. This from afar, cause I left the nest. I was just dying to fly, but you never would try. And you comfortable giving it less. And that shit don't sit with me. Had an epiphany. All that you did in me, all of that hit. History. It don't mean shit to me, don't let it get to me Said you won't hurt me, but look what you did to me, damn Pretty sad when the song is done Even though it's hard, I'll be moving on cause I'm gone Yeah, yeah Pretty sad what we had didn't last Every time that I think of the past, now it's time to move on Yeah 
Smokey B. <laughs> there you go. Smokey B. I love that name. That's Smokey B. Very unusual. It's made me feel hungry. So. Mind you, I, when I used to rap, well, I still, Smokey burgers. I still rap. I still rap, but I used to be, get called Double G. Definitely. You did. Double I remember G. that. That was since. Um, What's young. that? Double G. What's the G stand? It was Grandmaster Glove. I used to wear ah. one glove like Michael Jackson. I had to spin in it because I spun one handed. If I'd done it now, the weight would break my arm, you know? <laughs> I was going to say, how did you manage that? Yeah, I used to be able to do that. Ah, I used to do these were the days. And the, the crab. Past, I used to do a thing it? called the crab. It didn't say that I had crabs. It says I used to do a thing called the crab. Ah. I used to go in your two hands and go round and round. But now my wrists won't take the weight either. They would certainly snap, I think. They certainly would, and I'd have no more arms. No <laughs> more arm done. <laughs> no more <laughs> arms? How many arms have you got? Four. Uh, two, I mean. <laughs> four, four, that's legs. <laughs> the legs are at the bottom, the arms are at the top. Well, and the, the head, head's at the top. The head's sometimes in the middle. <laughs> anyway. Right. Um, <laughs> thanks very much to Smokey B. Listen, get Smokey B. Thank you. He's on YouTube. He's on, he's on SoundCloud. He's on Spotify. Smokey B is smoking, and he's smoking he is, hot. and he is smoking hot. And you'll yes. see him at 3.30 a.m. forward. <laughs> remember that. Thanks to Smokey B for that, and remember to go to his YouTube channel and subscribe as well. Befriend him, embrace the music, love the music. He's an artist unlike any other, and he rapped. Why was that? Because he gave that a little bit more. You certainly did, Smokey Boy. Smokey Boy, Smokey B, Smokey B. Maybe it means oh, boy. Maybe it, means maybe it doesn't. Oh. Maybe it doesn't. That's we don't me. know what the B stands for. We don't. Uh, we don't. But good on them. But right up next is our bands. We've got three bands up next. I say Shree. S H R E E. That means Shree. Shree. Oh. Right. Uh, the next group, they're called. What's that? Petty. Oh, we've got Petty Cassettes. Yeah. I know what Petty is. Petty is like when somebody said in the old days, Did you catch the Petty Thief? Oh. Petty means. Mm -hmm. I don't know what petty means, but it means petty. <laughs> I know what petty means, and then he says, I don't know what petty means. Somebody will tell me one day. You're confusing us. Come forward hence. <laughs> and of course, cassettes. Do you remember the cassettes? Yeah, oh, of course I do. Remember you used to record on the little tapes? and oh, It's just, you don't get a lot of them nowadays, but you still get the little Walkmans now and again. You used to get them free in catalogues and that. Remember that? Oh, I do remember that. But yeah, they We've always, still got cassettes oh, in, in the back have. room um, of all the the songs that we, we made and things do, yeah. like that. I mean, it's, God, we've still got them. Yeah. Takes you back, yeah. We were in groups, Deadbolt, Dive, oh. Who's the Nut in the Coffin, and everybody well, I said... I think we were changing our name of the group every week. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it happened. Yeah, we were in rock bands, <laughs> grunge bands, alternative rock bands, indie bands. Oh god, and then we ended oh, up well, in the rap bands. That's what it's all about. I never do a dance music thing. <laughs> but that's the way it works. But yeah, Petty Cassettes, I've hit the nail on the head because it's gone back in time. Remember, reminding people that's where it all started off with. Mm -hmm. Started off with tape. Well, let's, yeah. let's listen to Petty Cassettes. Yeah, let's go over to them and see what they're going to say to us. Hello there. Alright guys, it's David from Glasgow Band Petty Cassettes. Just want to say cheers to Zen Sapphire for playing our new music video lately on the show. If you like what you see, jump over to Spotify, give the tune a listen, and then make sure you keep up to date on all our social medias to be up to. Nice one, enjoy.
lleno tu corazón. Was the party sessions that you made, life that gave you lemonade, rock and roll is all you know. That was great, that. That's an unusual name for a band. Yeah, well, I love it though. 
I like the, I like the word the way it goes cassettes. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, that's a French word as well, cassette. Oh, yeah. I don't know that. I don't know what it means though. Again, oh, but, um, me. if somebody can <laughs> just um, get in touch with me on the Moorish TV group page and say it means this, and you're allowed to say it means this, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> don't get a dictionary because it's a French word. I think <laughs> it is anyway. Well, but thank you for that. Yeah, thank <laughs> you for that. And remember, embrace the love of the music that comes from petty cassettes. Because music used to come from a petty cassette, now it comes from not a CD player, but an, an MP3 and a, a WAV file and all that sort of things. So you know what yeah. you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> I remember DAT tapes as well. Oh. DAT tapes, mini discs. Floppy all that discs. Thing. Floppy ones as well, yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's so right. there you go, it's like all yeah. different kinds of formats. Yeah, and there's a lot of uh, music that are floppy music now and it all comes from X Factor. Oh. <laughs> it flops in the end because he's dumping everybody. Oh, you know I know. What I mean? But anyway, he's even dumping himself off a bike. You know what I mean? That's how bad it's getting. Oh, it's getting awful. <laughs> did you howl, Mr. Cal? Yes, you did. Anyway, let's <laughs> move on because this is Zed. And Safa. And this is Moorish TV. Why is that? Because we give that a little bit more. And we've got Tiggy and... We have Rainbow. And yes, he's halfway above the streets and houses, his rainbows flying high. Everybody sees a rainbow flying over the sky for the whole world with a rainbow. But he's not flying today because he's sleeping. Nope, the wonderful thing about Tiggy is Tiggy is a wonderful thing. He's jumpy, 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 fun, 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 fun. The wonderful thing about Tiggy is he's the only one. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, um, I've not got a, a wee rhyme for you. I'll try later. Oh, no, no. <laughs> attempt. Right, now as we're talking about the courses of food, and food is music is the food of love. That's what John told it me. Yes, yes. He said that's why we eat while we listen to music. It makes you feel good. Yeah, you've got to get the right. Eating meat. makes you feel good, yeah. and listening to music makes you feel even better. Yep. So listen to something like Luther Vandross singing a soul song while eating the hottest vindaloo in earth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do a Barry White after it. Oh, that doesn't sound right. That sounds like go to the toilet and do a Barry White. Well, <laughs> anyway, folks, let's move on. We've not got petty cassettes because we've had them. They're wonderful. Embrace the music, love the music, and get right on to the screen gems because screen gems are cinema things and as catch well. Catch them on the social media as well. You know what screen gem is? It's like looking at Clint Eastwood or um, Elizabeth Taylor and saying, she and he are screen gems. Mm. Everybody's a gem, aren't they? Yeah, even I am, so they say anyway. A gem, I don't know what, what that means. What kind of gem would you be? Uh, probably a TV one. What would you be? Me? I'd be, I'd be a um, emerald or What's something. What's that? A gem. You know a gem? An emerald city? Like a stone, a gem. Oh, oh is that what a gem is? A gem. Oh, is that a diamond like? Well, I presume it's that. <laughs> oh God, I might. It's only gem I know. <laughs> I'm thinking it was people in telly and films, gems. And I, I've just realised it's actually... Stones, isn't it? Some stones. You know, like, you know, like, ruby stones, gems... Gold stones. Diamonds. Gold yeah. stones. Gold stones. I think we've all had a gold stone. Sorry, Dickie. Right, let's go over to our friends. They're screen gems, and they're another group as well, and they got in touch with us and sent us. One of the, one of the group members is on standby, actually, and he's going to... I think it's one of the group members, or it's some. Let's find out anyway. Let's go over to their home, or home, and find out what it's all about. Hi, Zed and Sapphire, they're lovely people at Moorish TV, so just introducing a video from the Screen Gems, which is called White Lies. It's our lockdown song, and it's a funky little number. And uh, please enjoy. So the Screen Gems on Facebook, and the track White Lies, you can get on Apple and Spotify. So hang on, I've just got to find some toilet paper because we're going into another lockdown. Where is it? Oh, I've just run out of toilet paper. Damn. See you guys soon. Bye. Here is the news. It's fake. Sin. Oh. 
tremendous job. Tremendous. America will be open for business in no time. I promise. I give you my word. I give you my word. Living through the lockdown. Taking it day by day. Some of us are still standing now. Some will fade away. Cause money is always money. And time is always time. If you don't have the money, I'll sell you some of mine. White lines. Yeah, white lines. Yeah, I'll sell you white lines. Yeah, I'll sell you white lines. I'll sell you, I'll sell you white lines. Those little white lines. Yeah, I'll sell you white lines. Yeah, those little white lines. That's enough. great show of Moorish TV. This is episode 25 and we're feeling alive. I think we're feeling alive anyway. That's good. And of course that was Screen Gems, wasn't it Rainbow? <laughs> it was. <laughs> and Screen Gems are a fantastic group and you can get them on, 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 on YouTube. Subscribe to their channel, love the music and watch everything they do. Go and buy their stuff on Spotify and all the music outlets and go to their social media. Click follow, become a friend, become a fan and just embrace the music before they become live and then you can go and see them live. That's what it's all about, folks. Jesus, God. They're there to, <laughs> they're there to provide entertainment. That's, that's what we're all here to do. And he's now put his head down. He's a funny lad, you know. He certainly is. The way that he sleeps, he sleeps with his head directly yeah. down, you know. It no might, either that or one of us are smelly. No, I don't think so. No, well, I'm not anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Right, anyway, before one of us does gas, we'll get moving. We've got Screen Gems are just finished and uh, we've had a great show this week. And we have. We've, we've got one more artist, which oh. is brilliant. Now, this, this is a group, a rock group as well, called Stim. S-T-I-M to you and I. Mm -hmm. I like that word, Stim. Stim. It's just like there. Just right, you know. You've got all the other artists you can read, like Screen Gems, Agnes Jones, even John Quill, because John Quill's a singer as well. Well, he's a, he's a singing chef. Yeah. He should sing a little bit. Yeah, I know, I know. Start singing, John. <laughs> start singing. <laughs> it would be funny to hear him. Something's cooking in the kitchen. <laughs> I'd love to hear that. <laughs> right. But, uh, yes, yeah, Stim. Stim are a rock band. Um, there's there's um, a group of them. And uh, they've got a, a cartoon video made off their actual faces and their bodies and stuff. That's Good. Yeah, bro, you know, like and it's, it's to do with Christmas as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's to do with Christmas. It's it, it's it's something like Happy Holidays or something like that. But the, it's a two minute two minute uh, rock video, and it's quite entertaining. I it thought it is entertaining actually. And you know what, what's wrong with putting on one of their Christmas tracks right now? Because it, all the shops are spilling Christmas well, stuff out. The, I was just going to say that there's lots of shops out there that have got their selection boxes and all their Christmas decks, yeah. and so. Why not? Yeah, but I don't agree with some of them. Like um, the the Scotland stores, there's one Scotland store in particular near us, and uh, for a large selection box with uh, I think it's seven or eight sweets in it, and they're large bars, of course. Mm -hmm. They're charging five pound twenty nine. Is that worth it? Mm, is that a big box? Ah, but you're paying for the box, not the six sweeties or whatever. Oh, right, okay. So they're very thin sweets then, they're not the full No, sweets. the full bars. Oh, the full bars. Full bars, but that's £5 mm, pound odds. Probably not too bad, yeah, yeah, I would okay. say. Right. Considering what you can pay for one, say, Twix or whatever, or a Mars bar. Yeah. I mean, they ask a lot of money for that alone, just for an individual thing, don't they? Okay. Right, that's a Not too bad. Cheap. There you go. So if you're going to get yourself a selection box, um, you'll get them cheaper than Scotland, by the way. I've just written Scotland. You always, you always get things <clears> cheaper <throat> than Scotland. Of course some, you do. Sometimes. But there we are. It's each to their own. Somebody liked to go to the stores all day. All day and all night. And all 
Aldi. Yeah. Aldi, you yeah. like Aldi, don't you? I do, I like Aldi. She likes Aldi stores. I like their interest in the uh, food, you know, and the chiller. Mm. Um, you've got like the the mackerel fish and things oh, like yeah, that, yeah. and all the pakoras oh. and spring rolls and nice. all that kind of section for the weekend, you and know. Badges I like and getting all that in for the weekends. Yeah, each, each weekend's a different food isn't yeah, it yeah mm -hmm. yeah it's it's sort of we used to have our curries on the evening of the saturday after the show and now you you make out this little platter for us and it's lovely. just a small poofy thing yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so mm -hmm. i enjoy that and some crisps as well anyway let's go on <laughs> i'm getting hungry seeing all this and john's made me hungry now i'm making john hungry if he's listening <laughs> but yeah let's let's watch stem stem are a fantastic rock band they're here to entertain us and here to sustain us with a great music video that's cartoon and animation beyond the nation let's go over and speak to them right now hello there hi zed and sapphire and morris tv Welcome to my office. Uh, I'm Dino. I'm Kiki. I'm Pedro. I'm Mel from Steam. A metal band from Ludbreg, Croatia. I'm a really heavy metal band. Da. I will say this only once. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube as Steam Official or Steam Band. Name twice. Uh, you can find us at uh, Steam Official on uh, YouTube and Facebook. Or you can find us at Steam Band on Instagram, uh, Reddit, Spotify, and uh, I think Twitter and on Twitter. Yeah. You're about to watch our short animated video from our The Pit series. That's on YouTube. You you can check it out. Enjoy. Check it twice. And also, we made a homemade video Asylum. So check it the <laughs> out. And horns out. <laughs> The bit. Very good as well, and if you've got a TV, um, a smart TV as well, especially ours, we've got one of these QLED ones, sort of cartoon colours. Oh, the colours just shot out. Uh, they just come out. Absolutely fantastic. But uh, still, I've got some more stuff coming out as well. Remember, folks, and new music videos galore. And um, be great to see some more of their their stuff as, as their real selves as well, because they do rock these guys. And remember, embrace their music and follow them. Subscribe to them on YouTube and. You can see this music video and all the others again. And remember, um, buy their music on all these music download sites. Yeah. Come on, buy them, so support them. I hope that's kind of inspired you to go out and get a few presents, you know, and for the Christmas. Yeah, because Christmas is coming. We always say it's coming. It is coming, believe it or not. This is now October. Mm-hmm. October. Uh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's best to start round about October yeah. if you're going to do it. Just this, get a few things in. This is this is Halloween month. Enjoy what you can with Halloween. You'll just have to go duking in the bath or the toilet bowl. 
You know, uh, you know I just said, right, I said, oh, don't no. do it in the toilet. Well, I've just told you the wrong you information. You can't drink anymore anyway. You, well, you can do what you want. Nobody's going to tell you what to do. No, what I mean is, unless you're duking with your family members and that, you know, even that's been... What did you used to do? You used to put a fork in your gob. A fork, and you just let the fork fall onto the apple. Yeah. And then you've won the apple. Uh, rather than the old school thing, you used to smash your face into a basin. No, we oh, didn't no. do that. We were posh. We used a fork. <laughs> yeah, I think I've done that as well. Oh, you're just saying that because I said... I just remember having cooking. a fork in my mouth and I had all these scabs and stuff after. Oh. <laughs> Imagine getting an apple, right, and then there's a worm in it. Well, has that ever happened to you? No. Oh. No, that I know Well, anyway. I can't imagine that then. But I remember getting a pie and there was a locust dead. All right, that's that interesting. A cricket. Grasshopper? You don't get these things uh, in Edinburgh. In grasshoppers you do. Well. I don't know about now, you know, because of Covid and that. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's mental. Right, <laughs> folks. Um, yeah, that was fantastic. Remember, thank you again to Stem for that as well. But, um, yes, Wasn't that a great line-up? Great line-up today. Nine is fine. Now it's time for some wine. Great. So you give yep. us a rundown? Yep. Well, thank you very much to the judge who didn't have a grudge. And Chica Addison is there, like a son of a gun, with Dixie Day. And she's ready to play the music for Luke Turek, who gave us the style. Agnes Jones popped in for a while to say hello again with Jen John Quill. He's the chef with lots of food to spill with his chilli beef con carne. And that was the thrill. Then we went smoking with Smokey B and he rapped with a drill. Not a drill with a microphone. Then petty cassettes were not alone. As the screen gems turned up to sit in the throne. Then we went for a Slim Jim and sat down and listened to a group called Stim who'd done their funky tune in the stare of a cartoon. Oh, oh and that's, that's the one great. said in Sapphire and it's the place to be with Morris TV. There we are. There you are. And that was good. Top of your head as yeah, well. Yeah, again. Episode 25 is, has been a fantastic week. We had great artists. An unusually, not unusual, but in a bad way, an unusually great lineup, I thought, with different styles. And I, I hope that you've actually enjoyed the show today. And yep. we've had some fantastic bands and solo singers there as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three bands at the end. Uh, I think one, two, three, and we've had one, two, three, four, five, six solo artists. That's and three bands. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> There's a lot of bands coming to us all the time. If we didn't get you on this week, don't worry about it. Um, we, we do take our time. Um, one of the bands got in touch with us. I can't remember which one it was here, but they, they got on because they didn't just give us a little bit more. They said they've been trying to contact you, and they came to us again and, and, and nudged us. So sorry for that if we haven't got back to anyone. <laughs> We're not ignoring anybody. It's just that we are uh, inundated with so inundated many bands. With so and, many bands. People, yeah. and it's worldwide. We're not talking about just the UK. So, it's all over the world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and of course, Chef John Quill and his band will be in next week as he's rocking. Sh Chef John Quill wears yes. a wig on the back. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it doesn't. And of course, remember. He's rocking, though. One of these artists that sounded like Chef John Quill today as well was fantastic as well. So if you were fooled by that, it wasn't Chef John Quill doing a voiceover. It did sound like it. But remember, folks, um, this has been Moorish TV, was said. And Sapphire. And why is that? Because we give you that little bit more. We certainly did. And remember, and stay tuned right after the credits because Oliver Twist will want more. And by gum, he will get some more. I don't he know what. Always does. I don't know what sort of video he's going to put on, but looking forward to see what it is. Well, stay tuned. Stay tuned for that. And um, if you want to catch up on any Moorish TV, you get it on this very own channel. You can watch them all back to back up to this very own episode. Um, but that's it for this week. We will catch you again very very soon because this is Moorish TV, isn't it? It is indeed. Yes. And Sapphire gives more. Yes. Because I choose the bands yep. and I always give more because yep. I bring all the best out in you. That's right. So you guys out there, remember, stand, stick by your guns. Don't give up on the industry you were born in to do and born to perform. Because if you're born to perform, you will be on stage soon. Never give Guaranteed. up your dreams. Never give up. Never give up on a good no, thing. No. All right, okay. Right, anyway, folks, catch you again next time. Stay tuned for more. Bye! <laughs>
move your body, don't you stop. Dance to the groove and pump it up. Move your body, don't you stop. Dance to the groove and pump it up. Move your body, don't you stop. Dance, 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 dance and pump it up. Give me something to make me feel 